G'day, I'm Luke from Drifter and uh, we're here at the Dot Factory. We've got a few uh, new things happening so I thought I'd give you a quick look, particularly at our new fridge box kitchen inside the Dot trailer. <coughs> so uh, let's go have a look. Yeah, so lots going on at the moment. We've got trailers everywhere. This one here is going to Brisbane uh, tomorrow. So that's a standard dot, all finished, ready to go. Uh, this one here is also going to Brisbane, another standard dot. So this is uh, Luke the Drifter signature model, and it's got the, uh, the canopy on here as well. So, um, yeah, that's an extra, um, got the canopy. Now the other thing we've done is, on the back here, is uh, we've got the fridge box kitchen. So these are becoming fairly popular now. Um, we can put a fridge in here, and I'll show you that. So, pull the kitchen out halfway, drop the legs down, and just pull the kitchen out like that. Now, I'll quickly set it up. And that's it there. Okay, so you can see this section here is very similar to the other dot kitchens. We've got our um, sink and the tap there. Now this is actually a, uh, a 12 volt tap. So we can hook that up to the, to the pump. Get our stove there and drawers. Now the other difference of course is we've got the fridge here. Now this is a 47 litre Evercool and it's the only one that fits on, on this trailer. So what it is, um, we're a little bit limited for the space because we've only got an 1800 long trailer. So anything longer than that, as you can see, is just not going to fit. So we can't put a 60 litre fridge in. Um, you know, we'd end up, we lose all of our drawers here. And this is an integral strength part of the kitchen as well. So we need to keep that there. But this uh, fridge is fine. We've got a separate freezer. Um, so 47 litre, you've got a fridge there and a freezer there. I really love the dual zone style fridge. If you take the centre divider out, then it can become all fridge as well. Now you can see a couple of points also why it fits. The Evercool make them a little bit lower and um, just a good width as well. Some of the other fridges, the Ingle 60, um, ARB 60, they're a little bit, they're a lot wider and, um, and they're too long. The other important thing is you can see the motors back here, right, so that's the motor there, it's got digital control on it now which is really nice, but the, the lid has to be able to lift up without hitting on the back here. You can see we have about 200 mils of the kitchen still in the back of the trailer. So we can still get to the controls, we can still see the controls, but I can lift the lid up. On other models where the lid is full length of the fridge, we just can't get that lid up. Um, yeah, so that works perfect. And you can see if you're um, using your kitchen, you've got your pantry drawers here. You can leave that out a little bit about there. We can still access things in the back of the storage box if I need to. But I can leave that sitting there, gives me a bit more bench space, but I can still access the fridge, and I've got all my working space here as well. Now the other difference on the trailer is that the awning comes out another 300 mil, so this is a little bit longer awning than on a standard dot. Uh, but we just get it made longer. Now on this trailer with the, with the fridge in the back, uh, a couple of things actually you need to do, not just a matter of getting the fridge. Now, we have a 125 amp hour battery in here as standard, and that's okay, but if you're going to have that, you know, you really need a solar panel, um, you know, something to keep that power coming in. The other thing we can do is uh, have a second battery, so that's on the other side there. Now, if you've got two batteries in a trailer, you need to make sure you're getting the right charge into them. And these, you know, uh, modern AGM batteries need a good 14.5 volts getting pumped into them. And because of that, um, ideally you need a piece of DC charger in here as well and that's what that is. So that takes a charge from the rear of the vehicle, the front of the trailer and make sure it's a proper 14.5 volts. Um, no good having two batteries and you're just not charging them properly. Um, if you've got a BC DC charger on the, on the vehicle that's okay um, but ideally is you want it uh, on, the, on the trailer as well. That BC DC charger should be within a metre of those batteries. Um, 
Another thing we've got on here is there's a, a generator. So that's the Honda 2 KVA generator. We've made a bag for it. So Jenny's made a bag uh, that goes there. We've got some straps so you can um, tie this down. So it's not quite a good spot for a generator there. So Tony, this is for Tony Bowen up in Queensland. He's got a little Honda generator there. He's got the dual batteries, the BCDC charger, and the fridge in there as well. So um, plus the solar panel. So they're all options and you can just sort of choose whichever suits you best. Um, yeah, so that's sort of the setup for the, the fridge and uh, I've written a bit of information on the website about that so you can see what you think. Right, okay, so we'll have a look in here. This is another uh, dot kitchen uh, for the dot six and you can see this, this is the only other version that will work in our dot trails and that's the 30 litre Ingle fridge. So a little bit smaller than the 47, um, but as you can see as well, that'll fit inside. So basically for the dot trailers, we've got two fridges that'll fit, the uh, Evercool 47 or the Ingle 30 litre fridge. Um, now with a longer trailer, with a, you know, a seven, the dot seven, or a lot of people getting their fridge box kitchens um, for other trailers, for seven foot trailers, then we can go to the 60 litre Evercool and we'll show you that one. Yeah, so I might as well have a quick look at the factory while we're here. How you going, Andrew? Good. How you going? Hi. So this is our foreman, Andrew. You've seen him before in the videos. And um, yeah, just got a dot six army finishing off. Yep, doing the trims and um, lights and starting the yeah, wiring. Yeah, we'll and... have a look around this one. So you can see how we're building on the rotisserie. We can move it, you know, we can flip it upside down. So when Andrew goes to put the ax axle and the springs on, we can flip this up vertical so it's a lot easier. We can fit the water tank there. And um, so yeah, we're only a few days away from having this finished. Um, the next thing to go on is the axle springs and the wheels. We can take it off the rotisserie and um, you know fit the pent on and all the rest of the gear. No worries, mate. No worries. So this is a new trailer we've just finished. This is our dot seven base. But we've actually, um, this is for my sister Emma actually, so um, yeah, she wanted a nice trailer and so we, what we've done is put the, uh, bought a tent from Brisbane, so the same company that makes our, our Hannibal tents in Brisbane, has made us a nice tent here, it's sort of gone in our, in our army colours, so I really like the colours, and um, this is a 60 litre fridge, okay, you can see it's a very similar kitchen, but we've just got a little bit bigger fridge and we can do that because we've got the, this is a seven foot trailer as opposed to the six foot trailer. So we can go to a six litre fridge. Uh, the same points as before, we need that space so we can open the lid up. We've got nice latches on the front here. So we've sort of made these boxes particularly for this fridge. We can still access it here. We've got air holes all around the back, so a vent on the front. There's air vents on the back and also here. And um, we plug that in also, I'll show you. We get them to put an Anderson plug, okay, on the lead. So normally they come with a cigarette plug, but the cigarette plugs are a bit a bit bulkier and they don't they don't fit in here as well. And also a cigarette plug is just going to fall out and it won't have a secure connection. So it's very important on a fridge in a trailer that you can plug it in and you know it's going to be there and not going to fall out. Um, so we put an Anderson plug on that and that works really well. So that Anderson plug will be fitting up about the middle there, we can plug it in and you, you can take it out if you need to as well. Alright, we might as well have a quick look inside the factory and see what the boys are up to. So you can see we've got a couple of trailers going on here. This one's for Dale Bennett and that's going to Darwin. Uh, so we're um, We'll be finished this welding today and it'll go in the spray booth and start getting sprayed. Um, this one's for a bloke in Indonesia actually, so we're sending that over to Indonesia in about three weeks time. That's a standard dot six. And um, you can see there, you know, it's just had the sides on. Jack's welding up the rear frame. And um, yeah, Ethan's over here welding. We'll have a look over here. How you going mate, all right? No worries. How you going, Jack? No worries, mate. 
What are you doing there? What's that? The front frame, is it? Yeah. Yeah, good. No worries. No. Having fun? Yeah, always. So, um, yeah. That's a little factory, and um, yeah, what we've actually done, we've bought a block of land next door, so we might have a big look at that as well. We're going to build a factory twice this size. We're just not big enough. Um, right, I'll show you another couple of things. We've also got some. Uh, we've also got a full-time upholstery wagon for us, and Jenny, which is Andrew's mum, works up the top here. So that's been brilliant because she does a lot of the parts for the trailers and makes a lot of Snow Peak and other products for us. So let's go and say good day up there. How are you, Jenny? All right. So yeah, this is Jenny. Andrew's mum, and uh, she's up here flat out every day. Um, these are walls for the trailers, so uh, we make most of our own walls. We're making the cover for the trailer, the rubbish bag on the front, the stone guard, um, lots of other things. It's all um, products that we've sort of made up to go with the snow peak, so this is for the, the large grill plate. It's our little bags for the cook set, all our double bags, um, all made out of our boot liner. We've got some really nice swags we're making as well, so me and Kite will show you those later on. Um, making lots of little things up here. So, yeah, it's flat out um, working up in the upholstery room. I'll we'll show you here as well. So that sort of gives you a bit of an idea of the factory space. And uh, standing up here in a little mezzanine. And you can see the area. So, yeah, we're running out of room very quickly and um, we've only just moved into this shed six months ago and now we're going to um, build the shed twice as big. We're going to bring kitchens and drawers up here, so Beachy's flat out, we're going to bring him in here to build kitchens and drawers and we'll build another shed um, on the next block. Okay, around the back here, this is the dot shed right here and um, we've just been able to buy this next block here, so it doesn't look much at the moment. Long grass and a bit of a mess, but what we're going to do is uh, clear that shortly and we're going to um, build a shed up the back there, uh, 45 metres by 26 metres, so it's basically twice as big as our dot shed here and um, that'll enable us to help cope with the demand we have now <coughs> for the trailers. So yeah, another big project coming up and um, we'll show you, you know, in a few months time what it starts to look like. Thanks very much. So this is our new trailer as well, it's our Dot 7 base. We specced it up with a tent and a battery and uh, a few other things, so might as well have a quick look as well while we're here. Yeah, so um, it's a 10 foot tent, uh, made in Brisbane, all Australian canvas of course. Um, you can see the front of the trailer is very similar to our Dots. We've got some kayak racks on the front here, still our same toolbox and uh, battery in the front. Um, yeah, so might as well have a look inside. I really like the colours, you know, sort of the army green colour and the sand. That's where it matches really well with the trailer we're doing. Yeah, so we're not quite finished, but uh, this is sort of a standard 10 foot tent, what you'd call it. Um, 7 foot trailer. We're going to have a backrest here, so we've been making a lot of those over the years, so there'll be a backrest there. It'll fold down, and it's got uh, lights on it. So they're really good. Okay, so you can have a light there. So as soon as you come inside your tent, you can turn this light on, get a bit of light, um, and great for reading, of course, things like that. Yeah, so um, that's it really. I'm not quite sure where we're going to go with this. We've um, built a lot of trailers, of course, and um, you know, see how we go with these tents. It's a little bit different to the dots, but if, if people are keen and sort of uh, wanting them, then we'll probably um, put them on the website and offer them for sale as well. So see how we go with it. All right, thanks very much. This is the beachy shed right here where we do the drawers. So I might as well go and say good day and see what he's up to. Right. 
Kids. Here you go, mate. Good. What are you up to? Oh, this thing. Jeez. We do a lot of uh, bands, we don't do so many buses like this, so, uh, but beach has got to fit out this, obviously line the walls and um, fix up the bed base and um, now here at Drifter we can pretty much do anything with the vehicles and um, this is a good example, so yeah, we don't do a lot of buses, but we do lots of high ace bands and things like that, and um, Beachy looks after all of that, so... Yeah, no worries mate, got a job ahead of you here, eh? Yeah, good day's work. No worries mate. So this is a draw factory. We've got about 15 people working in here. And we're building about 25 drawers a week. So, uh, lots going on in here. This is everything that Mark looks after. We built everything right here in the factory. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting to see it all happening. You can see a bit of an idea of all the different types of drawers we make. Uh, these are more twin cabs, or longer drawers for twin cabs. Um, we're doing lots of water tanks in the, in the back of drawers. Particularly for twin cabs, it's a great spot to stop that drawer a bit short and put a water tank in the back. And we're doing a lot of that now. So we've got these water tanks uh, specially made. You can see them there. So we've got square ones. Uh, these are for the back of twin cabs. A um, little bit taller ones. We've got these ones here as well. 35 litre for the, say, in the back of a 100 series, 200 series or a patrol. Uh, and that follows the cargo barrier. And, um, yeah. Anyway, quick look at Beach's factory and um, no worries.